Hello, it's White Dove East Store again. Uh, today we're going to be listing a Fender Precision Bass. It's a made in Mexico bass. Uh, it is dated in 2010. It's a pretty new uh, bass. You'll see the condition of it because we're going to go through it on the video. Here's the number just to confirm what I was speaking to you about. It's M MX1005704. So that is a serial number to prove that it is a, a 2010 for those who don't know. Um, the MX designation, you have an MZ designation from for 2000, about 2009, and then of course when it went to, uh, or 09, and then uh, when it changed to uh, MX, that was a f new Fender designation for MEMS. Uh, it went to 10, and you see the 10, and then you have the uh, six digit afterwards. So uh, again, there's the, the, um, serial number so we're going to go over this and uh, I I'm not a bass player but we are going to play it so that you can see the electronics are great we're going to go over the entire bass guitar we're going to go over the fretboard as you can imagine there's not I mean I guess you if you had somebody who was using a lot but this was not an, an instrument this is I mean it's like brand new condition uh, I think there's a few marks on the pit guard and we're going to play it through a guitar tube amp because I, I'm not a bass player I don't have any bass gear other than this um, so and I'll do the best that I can so that at least you can hear how it's played, what it sounds like, maybe the tone um, knobs and everything like this. I mean to tone uh, pots and everything when I change them for the different sounds you can get from the pre uh, precision bass. Now I usually have a halogen light. Um, instead I'm going to have to use the window light so that we can kind of go over the body. Uh, what I use is I try to use the light reflection so that you can just see everything that's wrong and or right about the guitars, the basses that we sell on White Dove's e-store. Um, it's important to me because I am a guitar player. Um, I, I play bass a little bit, but only for about a year, so I'm not a great bassist either. So um, I, I chase more after the guitar, but my point is when I buy something, I want to know the condition that it's in. It's very hard on eBay. You have a lot of people who are not honest with their listings. I've, bought, I've actually bought guitars where people um, they list one thing, but when you get it home, it's a completely another scratches on the back of it or all tore up, and they, they're not really honest with the listings, and then you're stuck in an item and not described case. We want to avoid all that. We want you to know what you're getting, so that's why we do this, and let me just make sure that I wipe this down. I was uh, playing with it earlier. I check all the electronics out. I plug it up. I want to make sure um, because they're not my guitars. Um, I do. I have a. I get them from other places, and so I want to make sure that everything works on it from what I can see and then you'll you'll hear it as well okay so the base body let's go over the body and then we'll go into the neck um, I've not seen um, any dents scratches blemishes on the base body uh, what we're gonna do though um, I really wish I had a better light but we're gonna use the lighting that we have I'm gonna try to again I'm gonna try to use the light reflection um, so that anything that you couldn't pick up in real life like just by looking over it and flipping it around a couple times I'm gonna go over it now you can see this is the top part of the base here um, so here we go we're gonna go over this make sure I have this I have it sitting on the couch kinda close to the window um, to use a light reflection I will get my halogen light fixed hopefully sometimes a day so that we don't have to do the listing this way and you have a real bright light so and then I have the lights on up here too, so maybe I can use that better. So here we go. So you can see, I think you can see just a little bit of surface scratching on the pit guard. You see it? It's not any deep grooves or anything like that. Um, maybe where somebody put, I don't know if somebody was using a pick when they were playing. I don't see them. They don't go into the body of the guitar, the bass guitar below it. And definitely not above it. You can see this. Um, you can also probably see that the color of the bass guitar is a cream color beautiful beautiful cream color I think actually if you could get a black perloid pit guard even a white perloid pit guard it'd be a little bit better than this stock one um, it would look really really nice with this cream color so I see just yeah just little surface scratches on just the plastic parts of you know the pit guard nothing really major um, so here's the body. I think you can see that, that the body really doesn't have any dings or dents or anything like that. Um, it's going to have some smudge marks from me holding it like this to try to show you. Here's the bridge. You can see this is all 
all still new I mean it is a 2010 I have some smudge marks on there with my fingers where you see this so it'll wipe right off I could wipe that off um let me think so let me flip this around so here's the bottom of the guitar this is probably where you would get the most dense bangs bruises and stuff actually now that I said that I think I see one right I don't know if you can see I'm gonna put my finger over here it's a small one and you wouldn't even let me see if I can get it in a light reflection up oh, there it goes just a little one you see it there I got it right on the light bulb there so I see that one I was gonna say this is where you would see the most of it um, I don't think <laughs> looks like I got yeah now I just had something on there um, right here maybe right along here looks like it was setting in a guitar stand or something that's it doesn't look I mean you probably can't even see it and I didn't try buffing it out but it doesn't look like anything major is done but like I said there is just a little bit I see some blemishes right there and I don't know I'm trying to catch it on the light the best that I can there we go you see it there's one there and I think there's a little one right there on the side there so that's that I mean of course I'm being I'm trying to I mean I'm really honestly trying to be anal with it is what I want to be because I mean you know what I'm gonna stand on top of this it's gonna sound a little crazy I'm gonna stand on top of this amp so I can get closer to light just so you can see it I miss my halogen light um, I think I see something right right there right there I'm trying to catch it in the light um let me think so other than that there's no cracks you're not gonna see any cracks there's no cracks in the um, neck pocket um, let me see <laughs> other than this material that I've been wiping it down with here's the back you're gonna see it's just an immaculate shape beautiful beautiful guitar bass guitar body it wasn't there's no I do not see any if you see any in a, the camera then let go with what your eyes see but I do not see any any scratches or scrapes or bruises or dents in any part of this bass guitar so that's the back okay let's do the bottom sometimes people bang it right on the bottom down by the cord or they scratch it right here too and I think I think I see just a little small I don't know what that is right there my finger is you see that in the finish a little fleck something it doesn't it feels like a small it's not a it's not a a dent or anything it feels more like a little surface scratch or something but again see right there I'm purposely being anal about this so that anybody who's trying to purchase this bass guitar knows exactly what they're getting um, if you're just kind of catching this and flipping through the video that's what I'm doing with this I'm doing it on purpose um, I want you to be able to see that there is nothing that's the smudge mark right here it's not a scratch see it's um, just from where I was holding it um, so there's that here's the back of the base neck I'm trying to hold it and oh let me see without banging it around it's another thing so here's the back of the bass neck the tuners my fingerprints are probably all over so let's see 2000 and again it's a 2010 let me see if there's any any bumps and bruises maybe up here on the top it does look like maybe just a little bit at the top paint marks then again I mean I don't know if you heard it I, I might have just did that by accident because I'm standing on an amp so that you have a light reflected off the guitar but so this is it anyway um so you're probably gonna let me see if I can show you the fretboard I mean in 2000 2010 as you can imagine it's not gonna be that that bad I mean so here's the fretboard well trying to zoom out a little bit so that you can actually see it the action seems pretty decent to me 
And what we're going to do now, we're just going to flip this. We're going to toggle this over so it gets a wide, wide view. And we're going to, we're going to play it so that you can hear it. Again, I'm not a bass player, so it's been about 10 minutes on the body of the guitar. I'm going to set this back up here for now. Um, before I forget, I'm sorry, we do not have a gig bag for this bass. I bought the bass without a gig bag, and I don't have any. I do not have one for this specific guitar because I'm not. I, I started getting into to basses a little more because that's what's become available. Um, but I don't have I don't have a a bass guitar gig, gig bag. So I'm going to flip this over, and we are going to just maybe mess around on a little bit. I, can't I would try to run a loop or something for you for the bass guitar to hear it but um, the stomp box you it doesn't sound that great with a uh, bass as it would with a guitar so I'm just gonna mess around on it a little bit um, make sure that it's tuned now that I banged it around Again, electronics, nothing, it's all new. I mean, there's nothing that I know of that is wrong with this bass. Uh, you're going to hear it. I'll pull on the jack a little bit so that you can hear that the jack is still. That's my amp, by the way, if you hear the little crackling in the background. I'm not really sure what it is with it yet. Got to get it fixed. Okay. So, so you can see, I don't know if you can see pulling on the, the where the jack is here's the tone knob hopefully you can see that in the camera and the volume so that you know that it's not scratchy and now I'm going to turn it all the way down uh, the tone knob all the way up This way it'll pick up the pops a little bit better. So it picks up the pops a little bit. If you're into slap bass and stuff like that, um, it picks that up a little bit. So, um, so that's all you now. All the way up. You hear the real bass sound. Just uh, toggle it or switch it back to metal. Uh, middle. electronics and I uh, hope you enjoyed sorry it's kind of short with what's played but I'm not really a bass player that was fun though thank you I appreciate it